serious mentorship. That's why we need to create That's why you thought, like, you probably thought we were, like, really bad. But, like, at the end of the day, these kids have not seen a high school. Yet. No. They have not seen a high they school. They haven't seen it. They haven't been taught what it's really like. Yeah. But what do you None think of. changed you from being a sophomore I, to a junior? Personally, I think, I think quarantine actually changed me. Oh. I think quarantine changed me a lot. Like, mentally, yeah. mentally, bro, I, I actually had time to freaking, like, mentally regroup. Yeah. Like, yeah, actually time take time to mentally regroup and figure out what, who I am. Awesome. And yeah. not just surrounded by so many different personalities. Like, you know, it's just... I can actually figure out, like, you know, what I am, what I, what I like, what I don't know. Because the disease of being young is that you're surrounded by people who don't know what they want to do exactly. or who they are currently. So then, and you're forced to be with these people every day. You have to walk past them. You have to be in class with them. So at some point, you start thinking like them. And then y'all are just all this group of people who don't know what they want to be or do. But quarantine, whole opposite. You had, like you said, had time to think about what you wanted to do, what you wanted to be, what you wanted to achieve, who you wanted to support, who you wanted to support you. It was way different. Right there, because, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I was going to say quarantine definitely, you know, see you in your own little bubble, your own space, you know. So you got to say what you wanted for yourself. And I looked at other people and be like, oh, I should be doing this because they're doing that. Or I should be in this place, or I should be that. No, because you're doing it yourself. After being, you know, I guess, Surrounded by so many people, I can actually like trap myself with my thoughts, like you know, in yeah. my mind, like you know, like so that I like that. I haven't actually went like stopped to like think, like yo, yeah, I like that. I'm gonna do that. Cause not because not because everybody else is doing it, yeah. because I want to do it. Yeah. It's, and it's like it's like it's, it's crazy too. Like something something that you know that was basically really bad. I kind of turned it into something good, right, like, for myself. Because yeah. at the beginning of quarantine, everyone was like. I can't go out, I can't do anything, blah, blah, blah. And then so many people, like, at least for me, when I went on social media, it changed from people, like, flexing to people taking journeys, like, weight loss journeys. Exactly, exactly. Hair journeys. People exactly. actually had things to do. They had time. Sell. They had time. The whole world took a pause and was like, yo, what are we doing? And then so many other things changed, like the environment, the physical environment changed. Like, did you see the pictures from India where, like, all the smoke cleared and the smog and stuff, like, Things change both like environmentally and like in people's because lives. the world stopped. The world, the world stopped because you know, it wasn't moving at a freaking million miles per hour right. as it always does. And it's yeah. like people actually had time to just regroup with themselves and like you know pick up the pieces and build it, uh, build their own their own structure. Like, and it, it, it was it was great. It was. It, and not, that's where small businesses came about. I didn't hear about small, small That's before. actually really, no, that's a really good point. Before, like, before small, before. small businesses, man, small businesses, like, they blew up. Yeah. Everybody, like, you know, had had actually time to think about what they wanted to do, like, how, how they could change the and world. And a platform to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Like, in this past August, I, I read an article. It was like, oh, the labor workforce is in shambles. I was like, what does this mean? And I looked, and it was because so many people quit their jobs. And starting like, getting into their stocks and like, like, investments in real estate and starting their own business. And I'm like, yo, that's crazy. All this stuff is happening because people realize their worth in themselves and their skills and was like, let me improve on this. Let me capitalize on this and make time for myself. And I saw a video where it was like, oh, when you're when you're in the labor force, you're always gonna do what your boss tells you. You're always gonna do this, always gonna do that. But why, when you put something in place for you to do for yourself, you're always like, mm, maybe, maybe I won't do it. You're prioritizing other people's wants and needs before your own. Exactly. Then you're, I need to be doing what's good for me and not what's good for other people or what's good for this company I work for. All right, then people had a lot of time on their hands. After they got let go, let go, they just quit their job. Yeah, pe yeah, people who got let go and people who just straight up quit, like they really took it to heart and was like, you know what? I don't need to do this. I can do my own thing. I can do exactly. what's best for me instead of what's best for somebody else. That's crazy. That's, that's actually really crazy. That was really smart. Small businesses. So we really did not really hear much of it like that before quarantine. Yeah. And then, I know I did. I did. Yeah. I yeah. sure did. Right? Were, like, I heard, like, you know, oh, yeah, we have, like, you know, small cooking stuff. But, like, you yeah, actually, some girl on Snapchat with the bakeries. Yo, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. that's funny. <laughs> that's, that's still yeah. a really good yeah. Yeah. example of a small business. Yeah, that's they, really make, they make money, dude. And that's like, 
Hey, it's smart. It's really smart. It is very smart. Because you're using your talents and like making profit off of it, basically. And it's just, it's cool. And I, and I hope, I really do hope that mindset of, you know, people our age continues because, you know, being black, being immigrants, if, if, that, if that sort of mentality continues, we could create a whole new generation of wealth. Exactly. Than our parents. Like I was talking about earlier, the immigrant mindset, dude. They're like you're changing. You're basically you're changing, changing it. The, the original mindset. You can like change this. the path of everyone else through through changing yourself. Like, cause, cause me, I really like really want to get into that content creator stuff. Like, like seriously, yeah. That's something that I, I enjoy. Like, I enjoy playing video games. I enjoy like freaking chilling with my bros and my friends. Like, come on. And that's like actually like doing that stuff. Both the things I like and making a lot of money off of it. Yeah. That's just cool. That's doing, like, yeah, doing things you enjoy rather than making a lot of money doing things. Like I'll still, I'll still, that makes you I'll still have like a backup plan if like you know, have something to freaking lean back on. Like if worse comes to worse, but like that's something that I want to do. Something that I just want to do. Yeah. Alright, let's have us a prayer. No. <laughs> oh, we're praying. But I love God though. I love you guys. You're, you started <laughs> the one there. You're the one that I <laughs> next time, until next time. You should start a podcast. Bye.